Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Susan Osman. Terror alert hits flights to America. This is BBC News 24. I'm Susan Osman. Thank you very much. Well, before we go, we're going to take a few minutes to say goodbye and good luck to Susan, who's leaving, as we've said, after 14 years. Long time, it isn't is it? a wonderful, wonderful time. My name is Susan Osman, I'm a television and a radio presenter and I've been a broadcaster for over 30 years, mainly with the BBC in news and current affairs, before I then went to Beijing in China where I launched, edited and hosted a daily live breakfast show for China Radio International and then more recently I was invited to become a visiting professor of leadership and communication at the Communications University in Beijing. So what brought you to Meta Health? Well, as well as being a, a very experienced broadcaster, I'm also an ordained multi-faith minister. And as you can imagine, I'm very interested in the connection between mind and body. I've, over the years, interviewed hundreds of people from the various fields of complementary medicine. And I, I see health as, in many ways, not just as there's health and it's just one thing, but a kaleidoscope. I feel our health is very, very complicated. And I would say, as a minister, I'm interested in mind, body and spirit. And I think all three are very much interconnected. And through having many experiences, I myself have had acupuncture, I've had homeopathy, osteopathy, and I've experienced some of what they call the talking therapies. And I do think that there is a connection between the mind, the body and the spirit. And I felt that with Meta Health, which I'd never heard of before, I thought, well, maybe this is another way of looking at health. And a colleague had had huge benefits. I'd seen massive transformations in her conduct. So, I, so encouraged by her, I went along. I had a couple of sessions with Robert Wagmery. And um, I was absolutely fascinated because I thought, because I'd done a lot of work on myself, that I kind of knew myself. But through having these sessions, I realised that the unconscious is very, very much uh, affected when it comes to our health. And I didn't realise about programmes, I didn't realise about how um, the way I reacted to people and circumstances had a great deal to do with what was going on in my mind, not necessarily now, presently, but also from past experiences and how we carry those across. So I found it very, very insightful. Now, I understand you're involved with this year's International Meta Health Conference. Can you tell us about that? Yes, well, I'm very excited to be part of the conference because having had my sessions with Robert Wagmery, he found out about my background and uh, <laughs> I think he knew that I liked asking questions. And as a journalist, of course, you look for the truth and you're always asking, well, where, why, when, what, how... And um, so I think he actually liked the fact that I'm, I've got quite an inquiring mind and of course with my experience he thought I'd make a good chair. So I'm very pleased to be involved because I myself, um, I hope, I'm going to learn because you always learn from meeting new people. Uh, this conference is bringing together a plethora of disciplines from all over the world and I hope we're going to have lively debates and discussions. And what would you say to anyone thinking about attending? I think even if you're not a practitioner, even if you're a lay person who's interested in health, I mean, what are we if we haven't got our health? And uh, I think we have, I now more than ever, believe we have a personal responsibility to take the control of our health. And if meta health is just part of the kaleidoscope in which we can have long term health, then let's find out more, let's find out what's there. If anything, let's ask questions and let's, uh, let's, let's have a discussion and find out what lies beneath meta health.